looks exactly like mine, if not better. All right, guys. So today is going to be a video where I'm going to weld the front mount intercooler. They're going to be able to see your butt crack. No one cares about your car. They want to see my car. Look at her. Want to get my car real quick? Huh? Want to get my car real quick? Can't help it. Drop <laughs> the beep 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 beep. Do you want me to get the one that we bought? Broke. Did it? Yeah, Tom. So when I was gonna say we get plastic weld. Oh, You're not so the show the accidents. I gotta record everything. Nope. Yeah, the accidents. Like accident. Thinking. heated up a nut to hold this in right there and uh, that's going to be the only way that once that hardens that this won't actually move around this one I actually drilled and tapped it smaller so that it actually screwed in and then we have this that I got to tighten up more but this will hold the inner core now properly at a certain level. And I'm trying to make sure it's flat as possible to get the most air. It usually like ducks down after a while. But this should be as secure as it'll ever get in its life. Guys, I left this open too. Because if you didn't know, you have to relocate the temperature thermometer thing for your car got this little plate set up a while ago but i got a hole here so now i can actually stick a bolt or not through it get started I think I've been getting a boost leak this whole time. From over here, sorry about the hair guys, with a worm clamp next to the banjo clamp for extra security. Better be safe than sorry. All right guys, the rest of the front end, I have to plastic weld this as best as I can because it broke off but I still have the pieces if you're careful and then I'm gonna find a way to use heat to make this look better and then I have my sensors that I want to tuck in All right, guys, so I'm gonna forewarn you, this is gonna have a bunch of segments. There's not gonna just be a part because there's no way I can fit all of what I'm doing in one video and still make it entertaining. But we tackled the intercooler today, which was the main highlight. Intercooler got mounted up perfectly. Finally cut out rail to let in proper airflow and move the sensors. And then I got 
ahead of myself with having fun with the welding plastic. So uh, that's what I did today. My head kills and I feel like I got sick from Danny, but um, I'm gonna still try to bounce it out for you guys. Uh, next on the list will be the new intake. That intake is really old, no saving it anymore. Um, we have another slight modification to the exhaust that I'm gonna wait to spoil. And then we are going to be messing around with the JB4 and maybe getting rid of it, maybe trying to decide on the tuning aspect, but there's going to be a lot of the rehaul. I also didn't include it today, but there was um, a replacement on the oil. I did an oil change in the car a couple days ago. I'll show you guys. I got the revision for the oil filter cap cover, and I'll show you guys the difference of that right here. But without further ado, I'm gonna get to editing. Also, I have to include this real quick. We're putting linoleum down in half my room because of how jacked the carpet is. I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, God bless you.